What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, um, <clears throat> in this particular video, I want to talk about Madonna. Madonna's been in the news recently because of a health scare that she had. She was found unresponsive in one of her residences. Uh, I think it was a residence in New York. And she was rushed to the hospital where she spent uh, several hours, I think, if not a day, in the ICU before she became um, a lot more stable. And then she was put into a regular room. But um, I think she was in the hospital for a couple of days. And since then had been convalescing at home for quite some time. Uh, she was seen earlier today for the first time out in public uh, but she was moving very slowly uh, she appeared very weak at times she even seemed to be leaning on things uh, when she was walking you know because she's she's been bedridden for quite some time I would imagine her muscles have atrophied she's probably short of wind uh, so that makes a lot of sense uh, but <clears throat> what, what I want to talk about is Oh, and by the way, before I go to that, she also mentioned that her world tour, which was supposed to start in July, will be postponed until October because she wants to get her strength up and get her health completely uh, in check. But this is what I want to bring up. Madonna was a lot closer to death than a lot of people realize. And, and, it, and I only began to realize that because of the circumstances and, and what they said that they saw. When they found her, <clears throat> she was lifeless. She was literally like, I don't even think she was breathing. That, that's how scary it was. I think she stopped breathing momentarily. Or if, or if it was breathing it was very sh shallow it, she, she, they described her as lifeless when they just when they uh, found her um, early reports said that she was unconscious uh, subsequent reports are saying she was lifeless and that they were preparing for the worst they thought she had, had passed away paramedics issued uh, 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 injected her excuse me with narcon which is often used to reverse overdoses. Now, there was some speculation, well, did she use, you know, but apparently, no, you can also use Narcon to uh, counter septic shock, which is what her body had went through because of the fact that she had been dealing with this bacterial infection for so long that had not been treated, and it was beginning to overwhelm her system. Um... So the Narcon revived her, but even with that, even with that, she was extremely sick for quite some time. Um, even when she was discharged from the hospital, they said for days she was still vomiting. Like, I think the first two days it was nonstop vom vomiting. And then, you know, um, afterwards, I think it was intermittent intermittent vomiting and I think it finally went away after a few days maybe like three or four days but that's that she's look I know a lot of people for whatever reason don't like Madonna but that's that's torturous to go through you know what I'm saying that's torturous to go through so um look the first thing that pops in my mind when I think about this situation was Jim Henson you know the creator of the Muppets I remember Jim Henson was on Arsenio Hall show. I think it was sometime in early May of 1990. And uh, he had mentioned on the show that he was a little bit under the weather. He hadn't been feeling very well. He thought that he had the flu. By the time he went to the hospital, which was 12 days later, he had a raging bacterial infection throughout his body. It was something similar, I think, to what Madonna went through, but 
he was maybe a few, a couple of days or even a day further than Madonna. And it, it was so bad with him. And plus, we got to remember, this was 30-something years ago. They weren't able to get it in, in check. And uh, he went to cardiac arrest a couple times. And ultimately, he lost his life. So these these things are nothing to be played with, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, another person that, that comes to mind that I think had to deal with this was, I can't think of her name right now. It, it might be Heather O'Rourke, the young girl that played in the Poltergeist movies. I think her name was Heather O'Rourke. She died from a perf. I think it was a perforated colon, which caused septic shock. So you know these types of bacterial infections, um, when going on check for quite some time. Yeah, these things can be very, very uh, dangerous, damaging, and you know, and even if you recover, man, it's not a. It takes a lot out of you. You know, what I mean, it takes a lot out of you, and I try not to be too uh, graphic with this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure anybody that goes through this, man, both ends of their bodies. Are probably like raw, you know what I mean. But anyway, just want to put that out there, man. That uh, she was she was in real bad shape, man. At one point, man, like to the point where she almost checked up out of here. <laughs>